Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the blur effect on a specific spot or object in your videos. This video is all thanks to Lo-Fi Drop for commenting the video idea. And speaking of comments, if you enjoy the video, make sure to leave a comment or like, and a subscribe to the channel would be even better. One quick thing before we start. We will be using CapCut PC to edit throughout this video, so if you don't already have CapCut on your computer, then you can either use the web version, or you can watch my tutorial on how to download CapCut PC. Both links will be in the description down below. First of all, we need to open up CapCut, and if you haven't already, we need to create a new project. It's important to rename your projects to keep them organized, so let's go ahead and do so. Okay, now that we're all set, we need to import the image or video that you would like to edit. All we need to do is click on import and then go to your downloads or wherever your file is saved and click on it. Then we can press open and now the image or video is in our library. In this case, I have a pre-downloaded image to use for this tutorial. Okay, in order to edit this image, we need to put it in our timeline and we can do so by either clicking and dragging it to the timeline below or we can hover over the image and click the little green plus sign to add it to our timeline. Now we need to create an overlay and I'll show you why later. To create an overlay, just right click on the image that's already in our timeline and select copy. Afterward, right click on the space above the image on the timeline and select paste. The shortcuts for this are control C for copying and control V for pasting. If you'd like to see some other shortcuts, then just click on the shortcut button at the top right of the screen and then a tab with all the lists of all the shortcuts will be opened. Okay, now we need to drag the overlay on top of the main video. Then we can go to the top and click on effects. And under the video effects drop down menu, there should be a basic tab. Under the basic tab, find the effect called blur and drag it on top of your overlay video. By placing the effect inside the overlay video, it causes the blur effect to only affect the overlay video instead of both the overlay and the main video. Now you can adjust how long the blur effect lasts throughout the overlay video by simply dragging and moving the ends of the blue blur effect option. At the top right of the screen, you can also adjust the intensity of the blur to whatever looks best to you. If you were to click off the overlay video, then you would see that the blue blur effect option has disappeared. And now whenever you click back on the overlay, the blue option doesn't show up. In order to bring it back, just right click on the overlay video and select edit effects. Now you can readjust the length of the effect and the intensity of it once again, although we're not done yet. As you see on the video player, the entire video is blurred and we can fix that by just clicking on the overlay video. Now we're in the final step. In the top right hand corner under video, select mask. Now make sure that the mask box is checkmarked or you won't be able to use it. From here, we can choose whatever shape we would like to use for the blur. I'm gonna use the circle for now. As you can see, the circle is now on our video player. We need to adjust the circle to fit the face or whatever you would like to blur. Okay, now that we have the shape to fit our object, we should be able to see the blur effect inside the shape. If you would like to blur outside of the shape, then just select the reverse icon up here on the right. Okay, now we have successfully blurred a part of our image using masking, overlays, and effects. If for some reason this doesn't work, comment down below and I will be happy to help you. My next video will be over keyframes, and it will show how to move things around throughout your video, including the blur effect. Once again, make sure to like and subscribe if this video helped you out, and I will see you. Bye.